What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, and I'm back in the building. And guess what we're talking about today? Center Tyler Beatish. You can see right here. We're jumping on him because, you know, Tyler Beatish has been in the news. You know what I mean? I want you to watch right here. You see how he got overpowered. I believe it was Hargrave that got him right here. I think one of the issues, and you just stay watching 63 as we show it again. One of the issues that we've been talking about with Tyler Beatish is the power. Okay. Um, came out of fourth. Just keep on watching him uh, while I speak. You keep your eyes on 63 as I speak. He, you know, he drafted in the fourth round out of Wisconsin, came from Travis Frederick's uh, old college. A lot of people uh, had high aspirations for him because of that and said, hey, this guy is going to be Frederick part two. Started, played eight games last year, started eight games, did relatively well. Uh, only gave up one sack the whole year, uh, 11 pressures, not bad, and had a 97.8 efficiency grade in blocking. This year had a little uh, wave of itself. We saw the first three games of the year, as you see right here, He, his problem is power. He's not a small guy, got knocked down right there, six foot three, 317 pounds, but he has problems with big guys, the Hassan Ridgeways, the Vita Veyas, the Adamica Sues, the Fletcher Coxes, the Hargraves, them big, powerful guys. Because what I notice about Tyler Beatis, two things. I'm not an offensive line guru, so I ain't fronting like I am. I ain't saying I know everything about the offensive line. But just as me just watching him, when he goes against power guys, if they just straight come at him and just straight bull rush him, it's like they pushing him in the backfield. He don't have the strength to really hold that. And that's what it looks like the Eagles were taking advantage of. Now, when he went against 93, I think it was Milton Williams, he, he, he handled him because Milton Williams is like 278, 280 pounds. But when he had the Fletcher Coxes that was 320s and the 315s and the 330s, 340s, he struggles bad. Now, this year, as I said before, as you can watch him right here, so far this year he's given up 11 pressures, uh, but he's gotten better. His first three games, he got murdered. Vita Vita Vea was murdering him, as you keep on watching him. Vita Vea, they, he gave up seven pressures in that game, and then in Chargers he gave up two, and then these Eagles he gave up two. So he had a total of 11 pressures in his first three games. Struggled. But since then, He's only given up one pressure. He has a total of 12 pressures right now, so he's been pretty clean as you watch him. But obviously, he's not playing against those big guys. And I think that's what his issue is. And then when I watch him on some of these plays, I see him with his head down and lunging, and guys take advantage of it. I think I've seen in the second or third quarter, the third or fourth quarter, where he lunged a little bit, and I think it was Cox or Hargrave swam, swam him. And you see right there, push him in the pocket. If they decide to just push him, He's going backwards. He does good with that double team when you had uh, Williams or uh, Zach Martin helping him, as you see right here. But when he had to one-on-one -on -one those guys, he 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 took a little bit of a, a, a beating. And he's pretty athletic, though. Uh, and I like what he brings to the table, but he's got to continue to keep improving, and he has. Um, I know some people have brought up, you know, we saw Connor Williams experiment. I don't think that experiment will work because I feel like Connor Williams is like Beatrice as far as he wasn't, he don't get pushed back like that, but he ain't pushing people around. He not drive blocking you down. So I think it's almost the same thing as you see that pressure coming on Dak Prescott. I think when you see uh, Hassan Ridgeway, that's a big boy. When he's got a one-on-one -on -one with a big boy, he struggles. And like I said, I think he reaches or lunges, and those guys see it, and they swim him or push him back. Pretty good job right there. But I think that's what's been his issues um, this season. But uh, as I said before, uh, he's not giving up no sacks, hits on a quarterback three, total pressure is 12, and he's giving up five penalties. So he ain't giving up sex. So his, see, that's the one I was talking about when he might dive, he lunges, and then they'll swim him. So I don't think the Connor way I wouldn't take a Connor Williams over him at the center position. Now they're talking about Connor McGovern. I like to see what Connor McGovern would do at the center position. I still think he's a guard, but hey, what the hell do I know? They're in the NFL. I don't. But as you still watch him, 
I just feel like McGovern has more power. He's not super athletic. I think Biatish has a little more athletic. You see, he, he, he ain't pushing people back. And I think that's where I said Connor McGovern, you can look at him because he may not be as athletic as well, but he has that power and he's not going to get pushed back. And I think when you see those third and ones, third and twos, fourth and ones and things of that nature, that's where you see there's no push on the line and he struggles because he doesn't have the power. So when y'all see the Cowboys going a goal line offense or a short yardage offense in your life, why can't these Cowboys get one yard? I think it might be the culprit of Beatus. I ain't dissing Beatus. I like him. But I think that's why you don't see that push, and that's why Ezekiel Elliott can't get the one yard or the Tony Pollard can't get the one yard because of that. But I like his improvement. I like where he's headed, and I think they should keep him at the center position and let him continue to grow in that position. So I like what Beatus brings to the table. I like what he's doing. He's continuing to improve, but he's got to get better with that power. He's got to get better with that power. If he can get that, He'd be a solid center going forward. Big game, James. You know how we do. I'm out. Peace.